Hola, it's me. Hello, Vic. It's me, Vicky, again. Uh, today's video, I'm going to read a text. So, in el video de hoy, voy a leer un texto. In this text is the past. We're using the past tense. A little bit of pretreat, a little bit of used to, and a little bit of past continuous. So, it's a, a text, es un texto sobre la niñez de alguien. Okay, so I'm going to read it in English. Voy a leerlo en inglés. Voy a poner todo en descripción para que tú puedes leerlo y traducirlo. Uh, y creo que voy a poner el español también allí. So, voy a leer el texto en inglés y después algunas preguntas solo en inglés, ¿vale? So, okay, you ready? When I was a child, I used to live in Manchester with my family. I had four brothers and sisters or siblings. Four siblings. This is brothers and sisters in English. I had four siblings, two brothers and two sisters. They were all older than me. I used to go to the school in my neighborhood. I liked it a lot. I used to play in the streets and in the countryside. Then it was safer for children. There were not so many there weren't so many cars. There was a big park near to my house and I remember very well one year when it was very cold and it snowed a lot. We could play in the snow every day. I always wanted a dog, but my parents, they wouldn't let me. My father was strict, but nice. He, he used to work in an office and he never earned much money. My mother used to work in the house. They both had bicycles. They never had a car. We never had much money, but more or less, we were happy. Okay, so that's the text. Now I'm going to read the questions. Number one. Where did she live when she was a child? Uh, and the answer, of course, is she used to live in Manchester. How many siblings did she have? She had four siblings, two brothers and two sisters. Number three, were they younger than her? No, they were all older than her. Number four, where did she used to go to school? She used to go to school in her neighborhood. Number five, where did she used to play? She used to play in the streets and the countryside. Number six, what does she remember very well? She remembers very well one year when it was very cold and it snowed a lot. Number seven, when could they play in the snow? They could play in the snow every day. Number eight, what did she always want? 
She always wanted a dog. Number nine. What was her father like? Her father was strict but nice. Number 10. Where did he used to work? He used to work in an office. Number 11. Where did her mother work? Her mother used to work in the house. And number 12. Were they happy? Yes, more or less they were happy. Okay, comprendes? I hope you understand okay. It's a good pra es buena práctica escribir sobre tu niña también. Okay, so, and again, si tú quieres escribir algo y mandámelo por correo electrónico o mensaje, yo lo corrijo. Um, okay, vale, ya está. And um, no olvides... Si realmente quieres aprender inglés, este libro es disponible en Amazon. Rompe la barrera del idioma inglés nivel 1. Y aquí puedes aprender inglés en una manera muy simple, muy sistemático, con explicaciones en español y espalda, eh, con la espalda que puedes escribir y preguntar cosas eh, si necesitas hacerlo. Ok, so, how was your childhood? ¿Cómo era tu niña? Um, did you understand all the tenses? Um, es que en inglés el preterito y el uh, imperfecto son muy similares y usamos used to para hablar de, uh, de rutinas en el pasado como solía, que solíamos hacer. So, es difícil el pasado en inglés, es fácil en una forma, porque la gramática, no cambian los verbos, no cambian mucho, no cambian para cada persona, por ejemplo, si, si tienes, uh, uh, I used to live, or you used to live, he, she used to live, we used to live, they used to live, etc., etc., no cambia la gramática, pero lo que es difícil es saber cuando usa used to, cuando usa was doing, cuando usa did, etc., etc. Entonces yo espero que en los videos eh, para que estoy haciendo que podemos eh, explicar un poco de la diferencia cuando usa uno u otro. Used to es muy común para hablar de cosas que solías hacer. Cosas que hacías en tu infancia, en tu niñez. Eso es muy, muy eh, común. Hay un video eh, aquí, en mi, lo, lo pongo en descripción o pongo una, un link para ir. Hay un video explicando used to también. Y también el pasado continuo was doing. So, uh, creo que pongo estos, al final de este video pongo estos para que puedes pinchar y, y ir ahí para, para ver este video si te interesa especialmente al pasado. Ok, thank you. So, si la cosa para hacer es escuchar uh, de Uh, time after time, ves después ver, escucha un par de veces, intenta escribirlo, escribirlo. antes de mirar en la descripción cómo escribimos este texto, es muy buena práctica para listening, escuchar, intentar escribir como un dictado y luego a ver si lo has deletreado bien o no, Dar igual si no, eso es como aprendes. 
aprendes con errores. Eso es la única forma de aprender. No vas a saber todo a la vez. Tienes que hacer errores, aprender de los errores y la próxima vez hazlo mejor. Ok, thank you. So, don't forget, uh, give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. And also, please subscribe if you want to, which is free, completely free. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.